Alright guys, so in front of you there are two options. The first one is unlimited storage and the second one is limited storage. I'm not sure if you can see this clearly, but the first one says unlimited storage. I'm just gonna close up my phone a bit so you can read it carefully. And uh, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to have this option on your Android smartphone. All you need to do is follow a, a few procedures and instructions and once you do that successfully you will have unlimited storage on your Android smartphone. Now the first thing that I'm going to ask from you guys is to help me reach 1000 likes and only do that if you like the video, if not you're more than welcome to dislike it and make sure to tell me below what you think of the video and what I should post for the upcoming videos. So easily today's video will be allowing you guys to install an application that will give you unlimited storage and as you can see once I have this app I will be able to free up space on my phone and all you need to do is follow my procedure and you'll be able to do so. So some brand new phones, Android phones, most of the Android phones come with an application called Google Photos. I know this is an app that most people know about, but not everyone. So that's why I made this video. So if, in case your iPhone or your Android phone does not have Google Photos, just make sure to go to Google Play Store and search for Google Photos. So stay tuned and I'll show you what to do. Alright guys, in case your Android phone does not have Google Photos saved or installed, make sure to open the Play Store or go to the link in the description box, it will take you to the Play Store and take you to the application. Once you search for Google Photos, you will be shown with the app. I already have it installed so I'm just going to update it and delete it so I can run it from the start and show you what the first steps are. So in case you don't have the application installed, you can open the link from the description or you can just go to your Play Store and search for the application which is called Google Photos. So I'm just going to very fastly upload and update the application and then open it. So once you open the application, it will ask you to choose an email address or a user to upload and sync the photos and videos with. You can choose any email address that you want. I'm just going to choose this randomly so I can show you what to do. After that, press on next and it will show you the two options that you saw in the beginning of the video, which were or which are unlimited storage, unlimited storage. So obviously you're going to use unlimited storage because that's the whole purpose of the video. Once you choose this application or choose this option, what the application will do it will upload and backup all your photos and videos from your gallery to the application. And if you guys think and like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well because you will be able to see my future videos in the future. So make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell for the future videos. I will really appreciate it. And so after that, you will be shown with the application trying to back up your phone's photos and videos. Now it depends on how many photos and videos on your phone. Uh, if it's the more the more you have the longer it will take because this application will literally back up your photos and media to the app and after it's backed up and uploaded you will go to the settings and there's an option where you can click on or tap on that says free up space. It's very important to do this because if you don't that means you haven't done it successfully. As you can see on my iPhone I have a lot of videos and media files. I've uploaded all of them and then I will go to the settings where it says free up space. Make sure to tap on that option. It will give you the unlimited storage that you asked for. So it only works if you upload and back up the photos and videos and after that you will be able to press on this option. So if you have any questions make sure to comment below and for iOS users if you want a similar video make sure to comment below and let me know and I will try to make one as soon as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts about the video and let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys stay tuned for the future videos. Peace out.